When it comes to reclaiming words from common parlance or the medical school, sometimes it's not always clear cut. You might hear somebody say that they binge watched a series last night, and that's probably not meant with a negative connotation. It means that they consumed the entirety of that series in one go, indicating that they viewed it as a positive experience and it was a good series and they want to highlight it potentially to others. Now, conversely, on the medical side of things, binges tend to be either descriptive or with a negative connotation. So for example, if we're talking about a binge eating session, that's often described as somebody who consumes a large amount of food in a short period of time, crucially with the feeling of loss of control and a negative aspect to that consumption. They may feel guilty. They may have negative views of themselves after that's happened. So that's very different to the binge watching a TV series. Conversely, there is also the binge as a descriptive tool, medically speaking. You can have an alcoholic binge, and that has very specific criteria, whereby for an adult male, that's consuming more than eight units of alcohol. So keeping in mind that one unit of alcohol is 10 mils of pure alcohol in a session. Conversely, for a lady, that would be drinking more than six units of alcohol in a single session. So there we're using that binge, yes, potentially with a negative connotation, but much more with regard to a quantification aspect. So sometimes even when we're pulling definitions back to a medical focus, we can't pin it down to one absolute thing. Hopefully that's of interest to yourself. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.